Uh, my name's Jake, Jake Ellis. I'm from Croydon in South London. My dad is from Barbados and my mum is from Britain. Um, right now I'm a student. Um, I'm at Goldsmith studying economics. My name is Ibrahim Kamara. I live and was born and raised in South East London, um, but my family are from Sierra Leone and Guinea. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Guap. On this day, I was coming home from a job interview actually. As I got to the barriers, I noticed that there was a metal detector and like maybe 10, 15 police, pe police officers at the station. Um, I saw a lot of people just going past the, um, the metal detector. So as I um, exited the barriers, I thought I'd do the same. Um, as I went past it, a police officer approached me and said, can you go through the metal detector? I said, like, people aren't going through, I know I don't need to. Like, what's the difference between me and that white woman that, that avoided it? Um, he said, oh, can you please go through again? I said, no, I don't want to. Um, and that's when I carried on walking. Um, I made my way out of the station. And that's when maybe five to eight police officers kind of cornered me um, against a wall and just tried to intimidate me, um, asked me a load of questions, trying to get me to um, incriminate myself. I'd been stopped like previously and after that um, I'd done some research on what my rights were. So when they stopped me, I knew what not to say and I knew I didn't really have to say much. My story happened when I was around 14, 15. I was coming back from East London from a video shoot. I was on the DLR with my friend Kamikaze. He was like a white guy. But we was on the train just talking and then I saw two like white men charging towards me saying it's you, it's you. And I'm like, what? And I literally like got off my chair and I'm like, whoa, chill, like, I don't know what you're talking about kind of thing. Next thing you know, I was on the floor. I'm there like being, like they're trying to grapple me and like, I don't know what they were doing. I just remember saying like, stop, like I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything kind of thing. I remember people on the train being like, he hasn't done anything, stop, why are you doing this, blah, blah, blah. I'm being dragged on the floor from the train to the platform and then only when we got onto the platform they're on my back they're like oh it's the police stop moving stop moving so confused so rattled they basically said to me oh it was like a mistaken identity they thought i was i just came on the train and they were undercover police so they said sorry no one gave me no ticket or nothing they said sorry and just ran up the stairs of the dlr station it was it was the most confusing thing ever. When we was going home, my friend, who obviously didn't get attacked, um, he was like to me, you should report it. And I don't know why, but I just felt like there was no point in reporting it because I just felt like nothing would happen. I do believe um, the UK is racist. I think the police in particular, um, the foundation of the police is racist. Um, it's a racist institution and I don't think any type of reform will change that. I think it needs to kind of be taken from its roots and needs to be abolished and something new put in place. There are definitely people in the UK who are racist and there are parts of the UK that are really, really racist. I think London is quite calm because it's really diverse but when I went to University of Kent in Canterbury there was a time like, let's say, I was walking to my house and a woman said, go back to fucking Africa. And I'm like, I haven't even been to Africa at that time, so it was kind of dumb, but those are the type of things that can happen to you outside of London where it's not as diverse. So yeah, I'd say in London it's fine, but around the UK there's defo parts where it's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's bad when it comes to racism.